Hi there, this is Chris Pyman, Director of Marketing at The Sheldon, and we're here at Golf the Galleries. We just wanna give you a little tour to see what to expect when you come down to The Sheldon for this artist design interactive miniature golf course. We have lots of health and safety features in place, and so we're just gonna go through some of those as we walk through. As you can see, we do have a dedicated entrance here. When we come in, you will see markings on the floor indicating social distancing measures. We are only allowing eight people every 15 minutes to come into Golf the Galleries. And if you come early, we do ask that you stay outside or stay in your car until your appointed time. But when you come in, you'll be sure to have plenty of space as you go through the registration process. So you will see that we have a child and an adult level temperature scanner here. If anyone registers a temperature of 100.4 or above, we will ask that you come back on a different day. Of course, we'll offer free exchanges on those tickets. You can just contact MetroTix where tickets can be obtained and exchanged at any time. After you've had your temperature taken, you will come here and affirm your basic wellness. Just a few questions you'll go through um, on your own to make sure that you're feeling well on the day of your visit. And once you've done that, you sign in with the members of all of your party with contact information for um, just for uh, tracing purposes. As you can see, we have masks, we have gloves, we have sea hand sanitizers, which you'll see throughout the building. And um, so you can use any of those at any time as needed. Once you've signed in, we're gonna go up the stairs. If you do need the elevator, you will be able to go down the hallway to the elevator, which is just down the hall on the left. But as we come up the stairs, you'll see there's also another hand sanitizing station here. And again, that's something that you'll see as you travel throughout the galleries and throughout the building. And once we come upstairs, you're gonna see something very familiar some markings on the floor indicating social distance. Once again, please stay behind these lines as the parties in front of you proceed through the process as well. And when it's your turn, you'll come up to the ticket window. Hi, Paula. And when you come to the ticket window, if you've pre-purchased your tickets, you will just give the golf attendant your name. They'll check you off the list and give you your ball and club. If you have not purchased yet, you can buy tickets here and you can see we have these uh, handy dandy uh, ticket uh, selling machines. They are contactless. We are not accepting cash for Golf the Galleries, but you'll be able to insert your own credit card. There'll be no touching at all. And of course the sellers will clean off the machine after every transaction. So Paula, I'll take that from you. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll take our ball and club and proceed to golf. So as you can imagine, the um, golf clubs and balls are sanitized between each use. And I'll show you at the end here how you're going to leave these in place um, without any more contact, which is great. Once again, we've got hand sanitizer here. Uh, one thing I should mention when you're at the bar, you are able to buy and purchase drinks. Um, they'll all be canned, pre-packaged, so um, very little contact for those as well. You can pull your mask down to drink, but we do, again, ask you to keep your mask on throughout the rest of the exhibit. As we go through, you'll also see, again, floor markings that kind of indicate a good distance to stay between yourself and any parties that are proceeding with, their, um, with playing golf. So as we go through, you'll also get a little sneak peek of all these great holes. Um, it's set up really well so that you will really be able to keep your distance. You can see another one of these green boxes here for social distancing. And once again, this is a one-way route. So there's no backtracking. We do ask that you just continue to play. We also ask that you do not play through. So meaning if you're going a little faster than the party in front of you, we do ask that you just keep your patience and wait for them to finish the hole before you move forward. That will just help us keep the, um, the social distancing flow and just the comfort level of everybody. Oh, you're getting a great preview of the clue hole here um, in place. So we'll proceed through the rest of the holes. A 
A couple other things to note too, I mentioned ticketing. Um, all of the tickets are available through Metro Tix. They're timed tickets. We do have tickets available for walk-up if we have capacity on the day and time of your visit. Um, and we'll try to post on social media if there's any days that are looking particularly sold out or crowded um, and not necessarily a good day to come back for a walk-up ticket. So we're coming to the end here. We're coming to Louis Vitaco, <laughs> our ninth hole. And as you can see, straight ahead is the club return. So when you finish the ninth hole, your ball will be collected by the hole itself. Get a little cash register sound there. And then you can see we have the club return straight ahead. So all you have to do is put your club into the club return and let it go. We also want to point out that you can still vote for your favorite hole this year, but we're doing it virtually. When you leave, please take a minute to scan or make note of the website address to go and vote for your favorite artist. Um, the winner at the end of the summer gets a thousand dollar prize. So uh, we thank you for that. And then you'll see we come to the exit. So we're just gonna go right out this door. And this leads you into a hallway. Now, those of you who are familiar with the Sheldon might be unfamiliar with this hallway, um, but this is gonna be a, a fun secret route out of the building. Um, just follow the exit signs down the stairs. Once again, there is elevator access. Um, you'll go just right back into the lobby. You'll be able to see exactly where you had just been for the elevators to go downstairs. Um, but most people will take these stairs down. We've got a few staff only areas. We ask you to avoid those. And we'll continue down the exit stairs till we get to the lower lobby again. So here's the elevators. If you did take those down, you'll come out right here where the stairs let out. Um, you will see that we do have some um, elevator capacities um, three people on the large elevator and two people on the small elevator. So we ask that you um, uh, honor those. And uh, if you need to take a couple trips, that's okay. There's another great exhibit here in the lower lobby that you can peruse as you're leaving. And then you'll come back out in the same spot where you signed in. The difference being you'll stay on the other side of the stanchions and proceed to the far door where you'll exit the building.